supersede the rights of all the other members of all these parties. Speaker, as you are, as you are not recognized. Please take your seat. Honourable Speaker, my hand has been up for a very long time and you are refusing to recognize me. They were, if you are coming me, back on the other points of orders that have no, been raised new, in this house, one, I speaker. no. It's a new one, Speaker. speaker. It's a new one that is going yes. to... That will guide the House, Speaker. Speaker, the Chief Whip of the EFF made a proposal that the Chief Whip must go out. No, we are members of this house, and you can howl as much as you want because you want to protect Bravin, and you are protecting your Honourable member, can, I, can, can I address house. you? Honourable I don't think speaker. you heard me. No. When that speaker, proposal was made, us. I said, we are not suspending this house for the chief weeds to go. We are not. Speaker, uh, honourable on members, we do not have a crisis. On which you have a crisis. On which you are causing this house crisis. not to speak. Please take your seats. <laughs> Please take your seat. Honourable Ntangwini. Honourable Speaker, you have recognised me. I'm yes. Honourable Ntangwini. Honorable Speaker, you have recognized me. I'm Honorable Sanguini. Please proceed. Thank you, Speaker. Speaker, the Chief Whip. Yes, yeah, Speaker. Yes, yeah, Speaker. I said proceed. The Honorable Chief Whip of the EFF have made a concrete proposal. Uh, we have a crisis, Speaker. And, and I have responded to the proposal of the Chief go Whip. And discuss this matter first. No. We want to know on which rule have you ruled that the Chief Whips can't go Speaker. outside. To go and address the matter of the Thank Honourable you. Honourable Ntlangwini, take your seat. Honourable Deputy Speaker. With the greatest of apology to both of you, Madam Speaker and Chairperson, I think uh, Rule uh, 14G explicitly says that if the presiding officer is of the opinion that member is deliberately contravening a provision of these rules, or that a member is in contempt of or is disregarding the authority of the chair, or that member's conduct is grossly disorderly, he or she may order the member to withdraw immediately from the chamber and the remainder of the ruling. Can I make a second point? Uh, Madam Speaker, Chairperson, uh, the presiding officer, after having called attention to conduct of a member, who persists in irrelevance and repetition of arguments may direct the member to discontinue his or her speech. I want to maintain, uh, Madam Speaker, that this is dis grossly disorderly and repetitively uh, raising arguments that we should request the members to stop or you make the ruling, Madam Speaker. Speaker, it members. doesn't say members, it says member. You ought to be, they have to be a specific person. There is no generalization here. Honorable order. members, please sit down. Uh, we will now proceed and have the president addressing the, the house. <laughs> Honorable president. Speaker of the National Assembly. Mamtan, you did not rule. We were threatened over there that we must go out. They want to beat us. You did not rule them out. We can't be members of the House and then the members of the ANC come to threaten other members of the House. As if now we are here on some favor. We are also elected. You did not reprimand them. Honorable members. Order. Honorable members. I am sure South Africa is not very proud of us this night. They store electricity, sure. they are in the dark. I am sure, I'm sure, I'm sure none of you are proud of what you are doing today. So can we agree that we are going to allow this house to proceed with its business and that any spurious point of order 
will see a member walking out of that door. Can we agree on that? Can we agree that we will not have any end, any spurious point of order? We are proceeding with the business of this house. Speaker, I'm sure, Madam Speaker, with the greatest respect, you'll agree. It is not spurious. Can you take it down? Speaker, it's not spurious. Take your seat. It's not spurious. They threatened us with violence. You owe us protection. It's not spurious. Take your seat. That honorable our member, no wedding. member has any right to threaten any member. Neither does any member. As why can you please sit down? Neither As does why. any member have the right to take away and to disadvantage any other member in any other fashion. So, you are not angels because you infringe on the right of all the other members in this house to proceed. And that is why I'm saying I'm not taking any point of order, except yours, Honorable M -M -M Pando. What is your point of order? Uh, speaker, I think you have ruled uh, correctly, uh, Speaker, because there is indeed spurious use of the rules and very serious infringement of the rules. And I think, Speaker, you should act as you have indicated. Should there be any further interruption, members must be asked to leave the House. Thank you. Honorable Mkhalipi, I'm not taking any further points of order. The only point of order I will take is when you continue to interrupt the business of today. Speaker. Honorable Malema, do you intend to stop us from proceeding with the business no, no, of the no, day? No, no, not at all. I'm so sorry. why are you up? No, no. Uh, violence was threatened. It was brought to I have attention. just called this no, whole no. house to order. Uh, not the whole house. It was I by did. a specific individual. By the rules of this house, you ought to call the individual concerned and ask that person to withdraw. So Honorable that Malema. have peace in this house, because we shouldn't threaten violence. No one Honorable has got monopoly Malema. of violence. Honorable Malema, take your seat. Honorable members, I did not see the member who threatened I heard. No. Our perfect wedding. Don't behave Our like perfect that. wedding. No. I heard a member saying any uh, members should go out. I did not see. I'm not calling any member by name. I have made a ruling. Just this ask house him if that he no did actually threaten us. Honorable Gadi, take your seat or leave this house. Honorable Speaker, we Honorable can help you member, with the person. Take your seat or please, Quenda. We can help you to show you who has no, threatened violence. No, I don't want your help. You take your seat now or leave in peace. No, I'm saying because you, you say you didn't. You take your seat now or leave. I'm helping. You take this seat, Honorable Mukwena, or leave. Honorable Mkalipi, if you stand, you are prepared to walk out. Yes. Yes. If you stand and continue with your spurious points of orders and eat away the time for this country to get the state of the nation, please walk out or we shall assist you. You're volunteering to go the first. Honorable the President, please proceed. Madam Speaker, with all due respect, Prince Butelezi has had his hand up respecting this house and people like Chuck. He's had his hand up, but you've got people jumping like popcorn and being recognized. Honorable Butelezi, Honorable Butelezi. Honorable Speaker, I think I have a right to ask a question to you as a presiding officer. I, I would like to know. Our judiciary is here. Unfortunately, we can't consult them. Purely on common sense, is it right that a minority can impose their will on the majority? Quite clearly. Quite clearly. Would you, would you shout at you when you're speaking? You are protected on a wrong quite, 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 I mean, quite on 
sheer, on sheer common sense. The people that have raised the matter and delayed us are a minority. The majority of us want to listen to the president. And, I, and I've been lifting my hand and people just jump off and speak. But because I respect you and I will not break the rules and do what as they do, you don't give me a chance just to say a simple thing. I want enlightenment for you as the presiding officer. Is it right that the minority should impose their will on the majority of us? Thank you, sir. Honorable Telezi. Members of the House have the right to freedom of speech, but that freedom is not unlimited. It is subject to the rules of the House, it is subject to the provisions of the powers and privileges. So no member can Speaker. impose their will on the rest of the members. Oh, Speaker. I did not recognize you. Please take speaker. your seat. Dr. No, Dr. take speaker. your seat. Unrecognize, unrecognize, please. Take your seat. Honorable members, I'm not going to recognize any hand. And any hand that Sorry, you speaker. Be, I will not recognize any hand. Banana, just speaker. One. I will not recognize the Banana, hand. Speaker. Speaker, no, speaker, no speaker, 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 president. speaker, 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 Honorable Sonti, please leave the house. Please leave the house. Because, because you are deliberately, you are deliberately making sure that this house does no, not no, conclude no, no. its business. No, 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 Speaker, Speaker. No. You are not applying the rules. No. We should never. No, Honorable Malema, you will not this night abuse the no, rules. I, I'm, I'm calling you to order. Speaker. No. You will not abuse the rights of the majority of the members call her, of call, this house. Call her to order. That's the first step you do. I did call you, all of you no, to you, order. You, 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 didn't, you, you called their name. You called their name once. You called their name once. Honorable call her by Malema, the name. take your seat. Call her by the name. Honorable Malema, I called her by name. Honorable Malema, take your seat. Tell her to sit down first, Speaker. You can't no. start by saying you must Honorable go out. Honorable Malema, take it's your seat. It's against the rules. Honorable Malema, take your seat. No, Honorable Members, you are not going to hold us to ransom. Can, we, can I can clarify, Speaker, so that they... Take your seat. Are you suspending the rules tonight? Take your seat. Are you suspending the rules tonight? Honorable Member, take your seat. Which rule are you using which says you can no longer recognize hands? Which rule? Point us to the rule. It doesn't matter how much irritating are we in this house, but you ought to point the rule and say, according to this rule, I will no longer recognize hands. There is no such a rule. And we're not going not to be treated as a group here. Irritated. You are right. Uh, we... It Put does not order. matter how much the two of us are irritated. That still does not give a minority or an individual member of this house more rights than the other members. Point of order. Point of no order. No members, you are not going to continue to do this. Point of order. A minority is judged by a vote. So let's Honorable vote so that Mukwena, we are sure that it's a minority. Please take your seat. Point of order. Point of order. Madam Speaker. Honorable Mazon. Speaker, I rise on point 14F of the joint rules as well as 14K. 14F uh, deals with the irrelevance and repetition. We have now heard the same point of order called over four times. Uh, Chair, we've also been dealing with these points of order that have been repeated for exactly 50 minutes. 
Um, in terms of 14K, it describes exactly what grave disorder is. And given the fact that the party calling points of order and disrupting the House at present made it very clear that they had every intention of disrupting the proceedings for tonight, 14K comes into play because it now refers to grave disorder in the House. Chair, I would ask you to once again protect the rights of the majority of the members in this House and let us have our constitutional right to hear the Sona addressed by the President. On a, on a point of order, yes. on a point of order, Chairperson on, on, of the NCOP, on, on, on members, just on a point of order, on members, I'm rising in terms of please sit down, has, please. please sit down, please sit down. But what to call because, that because point I'm not of order, that order. You. please sit down, sit down, and please recognize sit, me after that, please. Sit, sit, sit down, yeah, sit down. Thank you very much, honourable uh, members. It is very clear. Uh, that uh, uh, continuously taking point of orders is not getting this house anywhere. Uh, clearly, the freedom of speech of members is being abused. And uh, we would like, really like to, to, to make a plea one more time that we should allow the president to proceed with his State of the Nation address. Honorable President, please proceed. On the Chairperson of the NCOP, on a point of order, there is, there is, not no, recognize you. There is no rule yet Honorable that member, the party. Honorable so member, said as members one by one yet. Honorable member, I have not recognized you, so please sit down. Please proceed, Honorable President. Speaker, I, I have already Speaker, said. Can we can can you please recognize us? I I want us to work according to rules here. We are in Parliament. Honourable Malima, an activist Parliament. Honourable Malima, we have not been recognized. Please sit down. Can you recognize? Please him? sit down. Please sit. Recognition. Please sit. Honourable President. Uh, Braambi. No, Braambi, you are making a mistake. You are making a mistake. Recognize me. I want to speak according to the rules. Uh, honorable Speaker, that you, you ought to can, say can, to can, us, according to which rule are you no longer going to take hands on point of order, number one. Number two, there is no one who is going to be treated as a party yet. There is no party yet. They are members of parliament who shall be recognized as individual members of parliament. So there is no party. Uh, so please, we, we, and there is no majority and there is no minority. Honorable Malima, if you are going to go with that narrative of minority, Honorable, minority will know us. Honorable Malima, Slender, can you please sit down? Slender. Please sit down. Honorable President, we are now proceeding, honorable members, with the State of the Nation address. Speaker of the National Assembly, Ms. Tandi Modise, the Chairperson of the National Council of Provinces, Mr. Amos Masondo, Honourable members, we are going to suspend the proceedings of this house. The bells will be rung for you to reconvene. This house is suspended. <laughs>